greetings, human. I am pleased to see you walking amidst the gardens, taking in the air, fresh and cold from the mountains. What is good for a dragon must be good for a human. I trust your recovery has been pleasant as well as comfortable for you. This sanctuary is not meant for humans, but I am confident that a human could find comfort amidst my people. Besides, the Empress this land has been most generous to you. I hope you have been courteous to her. Forgive me, human. I am quite tired. Where was I this morning? I shall never lie to you, my student. I left the sanctuary in the early hours of dawn. I returned to our homeland, to your village, and there I dealt with the human beings who wronged you. The ones who hurt you and caused you such pain. You do not need the details. I would rather spare you with such worry and anxiety. From all the things you had told me, I was quite confident in my methods. And regardless of what I did, or what has become of them, that no worry or stress would ever come upon you again. At least, not regarding your former home. Trust me, human. You need not worry about them. Put them out of your mind and relish in the thought that you are safe. I know I do. Knowing that you are far from danger is a peace to me. You couldn't return to your village 
even if you wanted to, dear human. You must forgive me. But I brought you here knowing that you could not leave. But in doing so, would be able to save your life. I weighed your life and found it worth saving. If you are angry with me, I understand. I only ask that you be merciful. I brought you here, perhaps selfishly. Very dear to me. You are only one of a very few amount of humans who has ever been close to me. In my old age, I find humans more and more. In a sea of deplorable people, a world of hatred and cruelty, you are very precious, very rare. generously upon you. I've had my fill of it. I've had my fill, human. I want to know more of it. Please, forgive an old dragon's selfishness. Give my greed on your sake. I could not leave you in that world. Thank you. Again, you show your kindness. Where other humans would not. You are a dear and precious soul to me. And so it is a comfort knowing you will remain here in this realm. granting you safety in this land. She has also offered you a place amongst us to live with my people, not as an outcast or a refugee or even one we must care for. She has offered that you be a part of us. 
a dragon like us. Yet, he would be one of a kind. For though he would look sound and feel like a dragon, your heart and soul would be human. And that is a quality none of us have. For which you would be extraordinarily unique. No human has a heart like you. And no dragon would either. It is quite an offer she has proposed, and I have as well, for I brought you here knowing you could never leave again. This sanctuary must be protected, and now Knowing that you could be one of us, I find joy in it, for you could be no closer to me than being akin to me. The decision is yours, even, and yours alone. Though no, no matter what choice you make, whether to remain human or to become like me, I shall love you no less. I shall care for you no less. Your life and its quality be no less important to me, for I feel you shall be my last care, my last love, for I have seen the world in all its beauty and its horror. I have known happiness, and I have known pain, and I have had my fill. I see the extent of my life. I want to spend it in the fields of green, within clouds of endless blue. lay in warm sands. I want peace which I have earned. But I don't want it alone. I want you by my side, human. I want you to want happiness in whatever form it comes in but that I may enjoy the happiness with you. For whether you are human or dragon, if you are content, then so am I. The simple things in life are what I cherish now. Though you be not simple, I will cherish you always. To the end of time, and until I 
exists. No. No, I shall never leave you. Never. Make your decision, human, and I shall support you. No matter. Think not about your days of hardship, no matter what kind of day you have had or will have, no matter how you look, what you sound like, where you've come from. How others have treated you, or how you change, I shall never change my heart for you. For you shall always be dear to my heart and soul. Stars may vanish. The earth may break and crumble. Seasons will pass. The sun will rise and set. Yet I shall remain here for you. Always and forever, my dear human. I am your gentle being, your dragon to come to. When trials are against you, when your heart is low, when you are lonely or afraid, always my embrace is here for the warmth of my scales and the beat of my heart is ever for you. No matter who you are or what you become, I will be here for you. Know that. My beloved one, know that you will never be alone. You shall never shed tears again, be lonely for long, hurt ever too deeply, for you know now that I will always be here for you. I love you, human. Evermore.